How's it going everybody? Neil Jernigan here. Bright and early this morning. Time changed this morning so I don't have to get up quite as early. <laughs> um, coming in to check the beaver dam trap. I came in here a couple days after setting it up and realized that two flashes was just too bright. I um, <clears throat> kind of what I said last week that it was just too much front light. It was very boring and also too it was so bright that it didn't really allow for me to capture any stars in the exposure so that's what I'm really after so I came in all it did was turn this flash off we're using just one single light and yeah so it's been pretty much a week since this since this camera's been up and we're gonna check it today and see what we got so let's just dive right on in and see how everything's looking See what we got. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got. All right, there we go. Beaver, Nutria. Beaver, beaver, nutria. All right, so it's working. We got a couple daytime shots too. So we got a dog there. So an endless supply of subjects. There we go. There's some twilight. Got a beaver. Got some natural ambient light coming in. So a lot of subjects. They cross here pretty much all the time. There we go. So what's happened here? It looks like the typical exposure is lasting around two and a half seconds. So it's looking like the typical exposure is lasting around two and a half to eight seconds. And I think um, the reason for that uh, is because so much light is hitting the dam right here um, that it's in aperture priority. It's, you know, it's thinking, hey, this is the, the correct exposure. You know, this is enough light at two and a half to five seconds. So I'm not getting much ambient light coming through the, uh, the sky as I'd hoped. I think what I could do potentially, if I move the trap um, to just on the other side of the trail, actually maybe put it on top of the dam and get more sky like back here. Uh, I could probably capture more stars. So that's something I'll think about over the next couple of days and see. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the shots that we've gotten. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to go home, put them on the computer, uh, see what the exposure looks like uh, on the computer, you know, big screen. It's kind of hard to see on the back of the camera. But all in all, it looks pretty good. So this kind of goes back to what I was saying several weeks ago um, when I was photographing the dam parallel. The camera is pretty much parallel to this path that they use to access um, this flooded area. Um, so the, the composition to me is just not as intriguing. And so I really like the one light setup. Uh, I like it coming from one direction, um, but um, the composition is just kind of lacking something. Um, so I, I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, I'm, I'm going to explore possibly moving the camera down here. Um, you know, I do have a couple of uh, small tripods at the house that I can actually put um, the camera um, at the, be the bottom of the dam. And so the beaver or whatever crosses will actually go come towards the camera. And I think that would be a more pleasing to the eye composition 
than just a beaver or just an animal going up and down uh, with the where the light has to be put at the moment uh, it's just not a really interesting photograph it's a neat photo don't get me wrong um, it's just not really what I'm after I'm wanting something better and so uh, but I do like the ambient light coming through so I think also too by backing the camera up putting it at the base of the dam uh, I can shoot wider include more of the sky uh, which will let in some uh, starlight that's coming through so um, I'm gonna walk over here and check the trail camera see if we got anything on it that maybe the uh, camera trap missed. Uh, it's at a good distance away, so I don't know how good that it actually uh, was able to capture any video, but I'll go check it out too. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with the setup. I'm going to leave it up for um, probably three more nights um, with this same composition. Uh, give me time to go home and look at the files, see how I'm happy, how happy I am with the current setup. And if it's not any better um, than what I'm seeing on the back of the camera, I'll probably come in here maybe midweek, move things around, uh, put the camera down here, uh, maybe add a second light um, to make the composition a little bit more interesting. So um, all in all, we've got a lot of good photos to go through. Um, so we'll take them home, see what we get. And who knows, maybe we'll get something good here in the future. After going home and looking at the images um, I decided I did want to change the composition up a little bit uh, but I decided to check the weather forecast and this week they're calling for a lot of rain and as you can tell just after the first day uh, the water level is really high so where I want the camera to be at the bottom of the dam uh, it's just too much of a risk that I may lose the camera so I'm gonna leave the camera where it is for one more week let this rain system move through, move on out, and um, and then I'll come in and change up the composition a little bit and probably most likely put the camera trap at the bottom of the dam. But um, we did get a few good images that I was I was pretty happy with. Um, we, we, the shooting in Aperture Priority worked. It allowed me to capture some really neat um, color in the sky as the sun was setting. Uh, I wasn't able to get any stars. I think it's because um, there's so much lit in the foreground that the shutter speed is uh, staying relatively fast. I need a longer shutter speed to capture the stars. So I am gonna adjust the composition a little bit, keep it here, but point the camera more up towards the sky and, uh, and give that a go. Like I said, we're gonna try that for another week. And then once the water level goes back down, I'll try moving the camera down to the bottom uh, here at the beaver dam. So I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and sticking around with me. I enjoy making these videos. Um, and next time we're going to, we're going to keep at it. Like I said, the, the swamp has been a little bit slow uh, as far as activity uh, with the foxes and the bobcats. So we're transitioning back over to the beavers and we'll try to do some raccoon shots too. But I just want to thank you guys again. I appreciate it. Until next time, we'll see you.